pin box that's kind of in the shape of an oval. Um, if you did not watch the first video, uh, maybe go watch it first. But I thought when I make it again, and I will make it again, I thought you could, this is the original top. And let's just fill it in here. You can kind of see uh, this lip actually fits inside. So once you've done a test with your bottom and you know your top and your bottom are equal, you can make these bridges that are going to, that are actually going to hide the dividers. But then I thought, you know, how neat would it be to have a little more compartments? You wouldn't have to have the divider, you know, as far as down in the, the, the dish or the bowl, but this would keep maybe shorter pins kind of from falling over. And then I thought, you know, I'm going to keep a pair of scissors in them and, and, and I'm just drawing this. I don't, you know, I don't really know if a pair of scissors would, would fit in there, but, uh, so just take a piece, a pair of your scissors and, and do that. I just think it would be pretty cool to have separate compartments. And then I thought, you know, how cool it would it be to have, you know, a tray over here for miscellaneous things and miscellaneous, maybe even sticky pads and then your scissors, and then actually have individual holes for different pens or pencils. It would keep them kind of standing up. And, you know, this was real easy to create. I probably, you know, didn't take any time at all. But I thought I'd, I'd show, in case you haven't, um, in case you've never done anything like this, let's just take these two things away. And I actually grab some of my holes. I'll tell you what, we actually, I'm just going to delete this one. This is the one we're actually going to work in. And, and as always, I like drawing in the center of the page. So to create this box, all I did, and this is where working in the center page helps you. I'm going to put that right in the center of the page. I'm going to move my nudge factor. Well, it's at a half of an inch. Let's try it. Okay, that's good. So now you're in the center of the page between these two guys. So you know your divider will be in the center. So let's just zoom in here. And all you have to do is take your virtual segment delete key and delete those two cut lines. And there you already have one divider. Then I thought, well, let's do a, a scissor holder and press P on the keyboard. Go ahead and put this thing in the center of the page. And like I said before, you'd have to measure, you know, to make sure that that's right. And let's move this down to 0 0.001. And we can actually hold down your control button to move a little faster. And as long as it's over that line, you'll be able to cut it away. And then just hold down your control button. And I wouldn't leave this too thin, you know, the, the front edge. Because the, the back edge of the wood's going to be right here. So you're, you've are you got plenty of room here. I just wouldn't make this too narrow so it wouldn't break off. Same thing, you just take your virtual segment delete key and delete those two lines. And now the laser is going to cut around that. I just think that'd be pretty cool. And it'd be the same thing if you wanted to add the holes. Um, all you have to do, and this is where it gets a little bit complicated, but go break curve apart. Then you're going to take this. And now when I hit this line, it's actually grabbing that other line. So I'm going to break curve apart again. Then you can take away that line. Then you can make you, you know, measure a pencil. I just, I drew it at, at uh, 3 eighths, which is 0.375. And I just, put it in there and since it's 0.375 I thought well let's move it down a half of an inch so make a duplicate maybe you could grab both those make a duplicate move them over and they're a little bit you know but on my original one I took out this one but you could you could do that you know you don't have to have um, you know, make it yours, make it your design. 
you could do something like that and that looks a little funny but that's what it would look like filled in all right hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching